Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Google Keep to be able to organize all your thoughts and notes in one place. Let's jump in. So we're going to head over to keep.google.com to open this up. And so if you're signed to do your Google account, it'll pop up and look something like this. The other way you can access this is if you're in your email account, over on the side panel here, you'll see a little yellow icon with a light bulb. You just click on that and it'll bring up all of your notes there as well. There's also a mobile version of this, so you can download the mobile app and all of that syncs as long as you're in that same account. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna stick with the web interface here just so we could see everything nice and big. So I really discovered this just a few years ago and have been using it more and more and really finding more and more uses to be able to get the most out of this. It's really, really powerful. Now, I have all my notes in another account, so I started a new account here just so you could see what a fresh look looks like. And so if you've never used this before, yours probably looks a little bit like this. So first and foremost, we're just gonna start up here by taking a note. So we're gonna click on take note and you just type in whatever you want this note to be. It could be just a random thought. It could be something that you need to remember for later. So let's say these are just notes from our meeting today, all right? Now you have the option to add a title. So you could add a title and that's it. You hit close and it is safe. You don't have to save it. You don't have to do anything extra. It's a really an easy way to just jot down ideas really quick and keep them in there. And then you see it pops up like this as a note, okay? Now we can go up here and we can take a different type of note. So you'll see over here, you got a little checkbox and we can create a list. So let's say we want a grocery list of things that we need to buy at the store. So when you start typing here, so you can see this starts with a little box there and then we could say, all right, we want milk, we want bread, cereal, and you can see it starts populating because those are like, this is a popular use for this. So you can see it populates some of these. So let's say I wanted cereal bars. We want some uh, apples, right? You click on that. And then you could add a title, grocery list, right? And now when you open up that list, let's say, oh, we got the bread. So you click on that. It goes down here, crosses that out as complete. We got the cereal bars, cross that out as complete. And then let's say next week you need to buy that again. You just uncheck it and it pops it back up there. Okay. And so then you just hit close and there you go. There's your list popping up there. Another option is you could add a picture. So let's just go to our pictures here. Let's say I want to keep my logo proof sheet. Click open. It takes a few seconds here and it opens up that image. Now we have a note that's an image. So this could be, you know, a screenshot. This could be a photo that you take on your phone of something you need, want to do. One of the things I do with this a lot is like I whiteboard a lot of ideas. And so I'll write them all onto a whiteboard on my wall, brainstorming or whatever. And I'll just take a picture with my phone and then I have it stored in my notes so I can use that later. You, again, you could add a title, add some notes to that, or you just close that and there it saves it that way. Another thing you could do is you could add web addresses. Let's say I want to go, I want to keep track of, you know, let's just have youtube.com, right? So we have a, a web address that we want to remember. We put that in there and we go cool websites. Okay. We close that and there you go. Now you have websites and now that's a link. So you could click on that and go directly to that link. And so as it goes, you can see this starts filling up pretty quickly. So let's talk a little bit about how to keep these organized. So the first thing you can do is you could pin notes that you use on a regular basis. So let's say the grocery list, we just hover over top of that. You see a little push pin here. You click on that and now it's in a pinned section. So these ones are always going to be at the top if it's pinned and then everything else is sort of in the order that you created them in, right? So those just all fall down and below there. So let's say we want to pin the notes from today. You could add that. And then when you're done with it, you could unpin it. You unpin it and it drops it back down into there. So you keep things organized that way. Now, another option is you could create uh, labels. So let's go into our image here. Just gonna click on it, open it back up and we're gonna add, click on the little three dots. We're gonna add a label. And right now I don't have any labels. So let's call this business and we create the business label. So you click on that and now you could have that labeled, right? You could create, uh, let's say we also have artwork, 
create artwork label, and there you go. You can label it with as many items as you want. So now we open up this one, we can go add label, and you can see it gives you the options of what we already created. Well, that's business, but it's not artwork. So we're just gonna click on that, okay? So you create as many labels, you know, work, personal, to-do list, important, not important, whatever you want. And then when you go over here, you could see these labels popped up on the side. So now we could look at just the notes we created for business or just the ones we have for artwork. And then you just go back to notes and it shows you all of them. So that way you could keep them really organized, okay? Another thing you could do is, you can see as this starts filling up, it's gonna start looking very cluttered. So you can kind of color code things. So you see you got a little background options here. So if you click on that, you could either add a picture, okay? You got some options there to just add some artwork there, or you could just make it a color. So you take the picture out, and let's say I just want this to be something I remember, so I'm gonna make it that. So now you could kind of color code things too to go, oh, that one I know I wanna, that's a high priority, and I just visually wanna see it, so you could do that so that you can go to it pretty quickly. Now another option that you could do is you could have reminders. So let's say I need a note, and I'm just gonna make this a title to be pay bills. So I'm gonna create a note that's pay bills. Then we're gonna click on the little bell to say remind me. So I want this to remind me tomorrow at 8 a.m. Click on that and then we just click close. And now that's a reminder. That note is gonna pop up. It's gonna send me a notification that I need to do that. If you go into your reminders, you can see all of those in there as well. This is a nice way that, you know, if there's something you need to email somebody back or call somebody, you could set reminders in there that way so that they're always there for you. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Now, another option is we're just gonna open this one up again. And you see across the bottom, you could add collaborators. So I'm gonna click on this and you could add another person or email. So I'm just gonna add my other email account and you could add another person on to the reminder. So if they have a Google Keep account, you could collaborate. So like my wife and I have a shared grocery list so that she can add stuff to it and I can add stuff to it. And then when I'm at the store, I could check those off and it updates those in real time so we can both see those things, okay? And there you go. Now you see a little icon there that it is a, it's a collaboration. So I could see that on my other account. So now you're creating notes, you're keeping everything organized. One of the things that I like to do periodically is I'll go through here and kind of clean things up. So let's say I'm done with the meetings. So you could click on the three dots and you could go to delete note and it'll just remove it from there. Now, if you delete something and you didn't want to, you could go to trash and you'll see there's all the notes that we had in the trash there, okay? Now the trash, these will delete, you can see up here, it's gonna delete after seven days, or you could just click empty and it'll remove everything at once. Another option that you have, again, just to sort of keep everything organized, is let's say the, you know, the cool websites one, I don't need that to be there all the time, I'm done going to those websites. You could also go to archive. So it takes it out of this main feed, but then it's stored in an archive. It's sort of a separate, you know, long-term storage. These don't delete after a certain time, but it cleans up this sort of main page here, okay? Now, when you go up to your search, you can now search by the labels, you could search through certain types of things, you search by collaborators, or you could just type in what you're searching for and go cool websites. And you see it still comes up in the search even though it's archived. And then you can see if you click on it and be like, oh, this is something I wanna use now, you can unarchive it, okay? And now when you go back to this, the section, to the primary notes section, you can see it shows up there as accessible. Now I'm gonna show you when we go back over to our email and we have the notes up, then you see all these notes we created are right there in the side panel. We can close that out. We can bring it up if we need to reference something or copy something over into email and that way. A really powerful and simple tool to keep all your thoughts and everything you need sort of in one place, organized and at your fingertips. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.